You want to win? Start making sure that you're feeding yourself the nutrition that keeps your brain clear so that you can see what's happening and make those choices that support your best interest first. And not for a minute, but for your whole life and your children's life and your grandchildren's and all the generations that come after us. This is our battle and our fight and we have to come together because we have to win this. We have to win this. I want everybody to win this. But you know, all you have to do is look back at history and this is just one case of history. And this particular piece is from the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum. Within Nazi Germany, many individuals became active or semi-active participants in Nazi racial and anti-Semitic policies aimed first at the isolation and impoverishment. Have you not been witnessing that happening all around the world? They pick a group or two and they target them. And then they get everybody all riled up to be against them. And not just that, but to actually turn them in. Individual citizens choose to be involved when they voluntarily denounce their coworkers and neighbors to the police. You think this can't happen here? Can happen anywhere, anywhere, including here. So we cannot afford to be complacent because we're still comfortable. Because essentially what we're doing now is deputizing the private sector to do monitoring of citizens on behalf of the government and act on the basis of suspicions without due process. Wait until it happens to you and it's too late. Is it okay if it happens to him or to her or to this group or to that group? Because eventually you're going to be in the group. Germany knows, right? Germans snitch on neighbors flouting virus rules in echo of the Stasi past. Yeah, law-abiding Germans are zealously helping police. Crack down on people, flouting new social distancing rules aimed at slowing the spread, blah, 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 by reporting on strangers, neighbors, and friends. But here, in the good old U.S., we've talked about this. Texas authorizes citizens to enforce new abortion laws. Yeah, there's more of us than there are of them. They need help. And guess what happens too? When neighbor rats out neighbor, trust is lost. Some lessons are remembered. And we can learn from history because gold is the proven inflation fighter and i mean look are we in crisis Mm, yeah i think so physical gold protects your freedom they central banks want to be free governments want to be free they want to be in power and i really 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 hope private no counterparty risk, and gold held at home runs no political risk according to the Bank for International Settlements, which is the central banker's central bank. In this community that I live in, it's a very walkable, it's a lovely community. And people know If they're hungry, they can pick a pomegranate. They can pick a zucchini. They can pick some, 
you know, limes or, I mean, I have lots of stuff growing here. They trust that that food is there for them, and it is. We need to have trust. I need to have trust in my neighbors. Maybe I'll need some help at some point. So when you can help, you help. When you need help, you ask for help. But it's really all based on trust and how easy it is to forget the lessons of the past. We cannot forget the lessons of the past because history has a tendency to repeat itself. And we've been marching in this direction for a long time. I'm sorry. But each one of us really has to determine what community is ultimately going to support your best interest. Because do you really think with everything that we're watching going on around the world and in our own country, that this is in your best interest? They have been stealing from you your labor, your work, because, hey, you get paid in dollars that by design lose value over time and have virtually no purchasing power left. What keeps it floating is your confidence. Stop being confident in it. I stopped a long time ago. Food, water, energy, security, barterability, wealth preservation, community and shelter. We have to come together in community and help each other. That's the only way that we have a chance of making a difference in the outcome of what's happening right now. I mean, you know, people say, well, can we stop this? No. And and in many ways, as far as the monetary and the financial system is concerned, it is so corrupt and disgusting that it needs to reset. I mean, you can hear my voice. I'm exhausted because things are coming so fast and furious. But my personal opinion, since desperate governments do desperate things, and I don't want to make, you know, I don't want you to run out and sell your gold because you need to be buying gold. But truthfully, this is why I buy gold in collectible form. Not so with silver, because I don't have the same kind of concerns. I mean, just by manipulating the spot prices, they're trying to keep you away from it. 